What's going on everybody? My name is Yanni K and today I'm going to do a review on the Black Star Series 1 200. I'm going to just kind of show you how everything works. This is an incredibly high gain amplifier, a tube amplifier from Black Star. A lot more high gain than I thought it would be. Now I'm going to show you a couple things like the dynamic power range, the infinite shape feature, um, and we're going to go through all five channels, which would be clean, crunch, super crunch, uh, overdrive one and overdrive two. I'm gonna be playing it through two guitars with active pickups and two guitars with passive pickups, just so you can get a full range of all of the versatility that this amp has. Okay, so just to get an idea of uh, what's going on with this amp, it's got four KT88 valves. Anyone watching this probably knows that. Um, it has four ECC83 preamps and also one ECC82 preamp. Now, uh, these are kind of what my settings are right now. Um, ISF we're going to dial back just for the video and then we're going to play with that dynamic power range I have it on 20 watts and it does not sacrifice any of the tone from what I've seen dialing it down to 20 watts it still has all the tone and power that it would have at 200 so I'm kind of a high gain person so most of my uh, crunch and overdrive channels are on complete high gain and I played around just a little bit with equalization. And one more thing I wanna add is I am playing through a Blackstar Series 1 412A uh, cabinet. Uh, this cabinet has Celestian Vintage 30 speakers in it and is uh, the perfect match for this head. So uh, let's see how it sounds. All right, so first we're going to play through a BC Rich Mockingbird Pro X. Um, this has EMG pickups in it, so we're gonna hear active pickups first. So uh, this would be the clean channel. Crunch. We're going to shut off Super Crunch. So the next guitar is the, uh, it's ESP, but it's LTD really. Uh, the Gus G Signature um, LTD 600 FR, so it has the Florida Rose. Um, it has active Seymour Duncan Blackout pickups. And uh, he's the reason that I wanted this amp in general. So, uh, this is what he played, and of course, you know, I'm a big fan. He's the guitarist from, uh, former guitarist from Ozzy Osbourne, and the current guitarist of the band Firewind. So we're gonna do a little similar. I mean, uh, I don't always have a lot to play on the clean channel, but you know, I'm just gonna play some chords just so you can hear how this guitar sounds. <laughs>
crunch. Okay, so this is a Schecter E1 FRS, uh, Trans Purple Burst. It has a Schecter Apocalypse pickup in the bridge, which is a passive pickup, and it has a uh, Sustainiac pickup in the neck. Now, this is my latest uh, little toy in my collection. Uh, it's a great guitar, and um, it's tuned to drop E, so stuff's gonna be a little bit lower on it. And uh, I'm gonna play a couple things I know that have Sustainiac in it, so you can hear it through the amp as well. But we will uh, start with clean. Good. Finally, uh, an Epiphone SG, not a Gibson, maybe one day, but for now, an Epiphone SG, still a great guitar. Um, these are just Tomogre pickups, of course they're passive, and uh, we're going to see how this sounds. We're also going to play around with the ISF feature a little bit so you can hear like the British tone and stuff like that. So I'm going to do ISF on the clean channel towards the American side. So let's do all the way over. <laughs> the bridge. 
British side. Okay. So now back to American side, let's do crunch. Same thing on Super Crunch. Okay, let's go to OD1. Do another Ozzy riff. Now we're going to do uh, Overdrive 2, and this time uh, I'm not going to play the first solo in Mr. Crowley because I don't feel like messing it up right now. So we're going to do the, uh, that last, a little bit of that last solo with a little bit of the riff. see a big difference there so there you have it Blackstar series 1 200 um, 200 watt amp another cool thing about it is you can actually dial down the power all the way from 200 watts to 20 so I'm here at home and that is definitely the best setting to have it on here also it's not killing too much power uh, plenty of power to power the 4x12 cab and it's a beast Honestly, for a company like Blackstar, you wouldn't expect something so high gain, but this thing is really a monster, so it's definitely a good amp. All right, thanks for watching.